Hey everyone, so today in this video I'm going to show you how to install the DRL uh, grill slash hood light for a 5th gen Ram 1500. The process will really work for any vehicle, but that's the specific one I'm putting it on. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So I've already installed this light in the truck. You can see it, it's going to be this white strip that runs all the way across the front of the grill. Um, all I did was I took a, a couple alcohol pads like you would get in like a first aid kit and I scrubbed it down all the way from well, I guess from the left side to the right side and uh, this light when you buy it this is the silver rock specific one the 70 inch and it's just the white one if you get the multicolor one like some people have it won't have the cool effect that I'll show you at the end um, that so many people so many people buy it for it's double-sided so depending on which side that your fuse panel or batteries on um, to preface that, I have my wires running on this side because the 5th gen RAM fuse panel is right here and along with the battery. Say, if you are not have, if you don't own a 5th gen and your fuse panel is over here, that's fine. You can flip that all the way over here and use this top um, piece of adhesive. But for this one, um, I've already had it installed and I have it run over there. I just kind of put a piece of painter's tape, blue painter's tape right here um, to make sure I have an equal distance from this corner of the quarter panel here to the to the butt of this uh, strip and I taped it down pushed it real hard um, ran it all the way down just to check the length and to get an equal uh, gapping between here okay. ran the power line power lines right here um, down in to the engine bay where I zip tied them off um, the ground I ran down here back behind the battery this way and then I went to a little circle clip and added it to this post on the battery. Um, in the fuse box it's actually very simple too. Um, what I did is you can see this red wire that's running into the fuse box. The way that worked is I ran the power wire into the fuse panel. Um, this fuse right here um, is the F35 fuse which is responsible for ignition and things like that. So I just stripped the wire um, put it into the left side, push the fuse back in, and uh, ran it outside of the box right here because you can uh, put the top on without crimping the wire. Um, it has these little slots that it'll fold into and it won't pinch it and cut it or anything. Um, you can use a fuse tap too if you'd like if this kind of freaks you out. I didn't have one laying around. Another thing is this uh, DRL comes um, with an inline fuse that is actually uh, is down here. This is where I tied it. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down and I'll try to see if I can answer them. Also, if you're going to do this, do it at your own risk. Um, it works for me. Uh, it should work for you too, but uh, yeah, I'm not a mechanic. This is I'm just a guy that has a truck that likes to mess around with it. So do this at your own risk. All right, so now for the finished product. We're gonna use the remote start. Looks great, super easy, definitely worth it. Give it a shot.